Rockstar made a Newswire post about the upcoming DLC. I'm going to be going over the highlights of this post, but if you are interested in reading all of it yourself, I will post a link to it in the description. The first thing they mention is that as a result of the absolutely staggering take in the Heist Challenge, a new vehicle in the upcoming GTA Online update, the retro-style De Classe Tahoma Coupe, will be made available to all GTA Online players for a limited period later this month. We did it guys, we did the heist challenge and this vehicle right here is our reward and it looks pretty amazing. They also said building off a suite of adjustments made earlier this year and as part of our continued commitment to make improvements based largely on player feedback, this December's GTA Online update will add a wide range of new improvements to free mode and beyond, many of which were submitted directly by players via the GTA Online feedback website. This is very cool that they're using more community feedback, making more quality of life updates just like we saw with the criminal enterprises. And to add on to that, they kinda gave us a confirmed release time. It's not an actual date just yet, but we do know that it will be coming out sometime this month in December. These are the improvements that they are already letting us know will be taking place, and there will probably be more information in the near future. We got general improvements. Get to your favorite iFruit contacts faster. Select which contacts to display or hide via the interaction menu. People have been asking for this feature forever. Imagine just being able to see the people that you want to call, like get into your mechanic faster without having to scroll through your whole phone of contacts. That is insane. The Benefactor Terabyte can be used to launch business cell missions in all session types, including invite-only sessions. So that's nice, being able to launch everything from there. Although, if people don't know what they're doing, that could be dangerous. You know, some cell missions have a time limit on them and you need to be at the place where you're starting the cell mission because that's where the vehicles will be, so. This can be both good and bad, we'll have to see. Take on Agatha's Casino Story missions as a solo operator by visiting the management office of the Dime Casino and Resort. These missions previously required at least two players. Hey, that's nice, you know? Now you don't need a bunch of friends to go with you on the Casino Story missions because it was hard to uh, get those done previously. And then the last general improvement is that PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X will add ray-traced reflections, rendering real-time reflections on many surfaces via the Fidelity Mode graphics setting. That's kind of cool. Next up, we got vehicle updates. New vehicle purchases will arrive in your garage faster than before. That's very nice, and I don't know what was holding them back from uh, not doing that sooner. It's always annoying when you purchase a new vehicle and you're sitting there for like two minutes waiting for it to actually come to your garage. Select custom weaponized vehicles can now be used in races. Where appropriate, weapons will be disabled outside of GTA races. That's kind of cool. We'll get to use some more of our vehicles in races. Bicycles will be added to the list of vehicles that can be requested from your personal garage when calling the mechanic. Uh, I don't know if many people even use bicycles, but hey, you know, if you're a bicycle enthusiast, this is a nice update for you. <laughs> and then the last vehicle update is that players on PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X and S can enjoy full access to How's Special Works without needing to complete How's Introductory Race. And then we also got some economy updates. Completing vehicle cargo cell missions in public sessions will award a high demand bonus, bringing this in line with all other business activities, while payouts on smugglers cell missions will be permanently tripled. That is insane. A lot of people have been saying the hangar business is the worst one, and now that it's going to be permanently tripled, that'll mean that maybe when there's a double money, on smuggler cell missions, it'll feel more like a six times money as to what we have currently, which will definitely make it worth doing. And then they also changed shark cards, but I don't think many people are that interested in that, so we'll move on. They also included this photo with that, um, obviously talking about the contacts changes, and if you look here, we got Dax as a contact, so that should be a future character coming to GT Online in this new update. At the bottom of the post, they said these experience improvements and more will arrive alongside the next GT Online update for PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4, Xbox Series X and S, Xbox One, and PC coming later this month. This also confirms that the update will come out sometime in December. Take a walk on the wild side of Blaine County in the first installment of a massive multi-part update taking you across the expanse of southern San Andreas featuring some familiar faces and a new troop of entrepreneurial misfits on a mission to expand the minds of the citizens of Los Santos 
one trip at a time. Plus, expect a fleet of new vehicles, world events, contact missions, and more. From reading this, it doesn't look like we're gonna get a new business, although I could be wrong, but we're definitely getting new vehicles. That's pretty much expected every update. The world events is kind of interesting. I think they just mean more random events that are gonna be spawning in free mode and stuff. I'm not really sure though. Contact missions, which is what I'm guessing we'll have to do with the uh, the main part of the update, like uh, we got the Agent Alp missions last time. I'm guessing something similar to that. And then the end more, which I have no idea what that could be. That could be anything. They ended the post by saying, thank you all so much for playing such a huge part in the continued growth and exciting new highs for GTA Online and for all your valuable and constructive feedback. Please keep it coming. We look forward to implementing more of your ideas and requests as we continue to build on the GTA Online experience with each update. Stay tuned for much more very soon. So I'm guessing with that said, they're definitely gonna keep doing player feedback updates in the future. And also looks like there's gonna be way more updates in the future as they are saying here that they're continuing to build. And with each update, it looks like they are nowhere near done updating GT Online. So that is very interesting to note. And then this part that says stay tuned for much more very soon, I'm guessing Maybe in a couple days or a week, we're gonna get way more information about this update, hopefully. Alongside that, they also attached this picture, which has a lot to take in. We got a taxi here, and if you guys uh, know about the taxis in single player, something like that could be coming to online. That would definitely be interesting. And then we got Trevor's and Ron's business here, which means Ron might be coming back, especially because they tripled the smuggler cell missions. So I'm definitely thinking Ron will be a returning character here. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this little newswear post. It's not much, but it does confirm a couple nice things, such as that the update's coming very soon and that we're gonna get this nice vehicle here as the reward but I'm definitely looking forward to some of these quality of life changes, especially the contact thing. It'll be so nice to just be able to get to your mechanic way faster without going through all that other stuff. And you know, some of this other stuff is quite interesting as well. But uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all next time. Peace.